up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I do Monday through Friday, you guys bring me drunk journal content and videos. Sorry to confuse you, Jen. I guess um, it made me show up as live when I wasn't live yet. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so today I am here. I'm trying to make my, my screen a little bit more um, focused. Not even, I can't even tell if that's focused or not. <laughs> Sorry to be annoying with this. I always, I should have been ready. Anyways, <laughs> what's up you guys? Today I am going to be doing a flip through tonight. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back to work on some other stuff. But today I thought I would go and do a flip through of all 10 junk journals that I got um, decorated. And they are already in my shop. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Actually, there's more than that. I think it's, yeah, it's 82 through 92, though. Anyways, we'll figure it out. And, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm here. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Gigi. What's going on, y'all? So, uh, like I said, I'm going through the journals. I made these, what, like two years ago now? And I uh, just finished them, what, like two weeks ago, I think? Anyways, here is the link for, um, if y'all wanted to check them out in the shop, they're all numbered, and you can check them out there. They're um, divided up by style, so um, you can see all the these fabrics are all in one listing, and then you pick the number from the style. Um, anyway, so here are the three that are in this fabric right here. They all have a different um, fabric ribbon on them, and uh, they all, I believe, have about 13 pages, um, and each one is decorated, so every page has something in it. There's a little postcard right here. These are a lot of fun to make. Um, I'm actually going to the store to see if I can um, get some more of the stabilizer. These are made from three different fabrics. As you can see, this one, this one, and this one. And then a nice, soft, uh, thick stabilizer, which is, I believe, Pellon number 72. So it's a nice, it feels like a nice, stiff, uh, what is it called? felt, like thicker than felt. <clears throat> so that's what all of these are made out of. They all have three different fabrics. There's some vintage ephemera in here, as well as some of my uh, printable designs. So if y'all are interested in checking that out, you can check out my shop at tsunamirose.net. There's a lot of things here for my shop. Um, also, I use things like scrap paper and um, uh, some flowers from my shop also. This is a lot of fun. Um, here on my channel, I like to spend a lot of time making embellishments. <laughs> uh, hi, Jane. How are you, girl? I like to spend a lot of time making embellishments here on my channel. And then once in a blue moon, I'll get a bunch of junk journals done. And uh, today is, uh, this month was one of those months. I made these junk journals about two years ago, I want to say. Now it's officially two years ago. And I uh, just got them uh, decorated. So they look really, really cute. They're one signature. And they are just adorable. There's no theme to them. They are just vintage and whatever I had on my in my stash and whatever, um, whatever embellishments I had in my stash also, <laughs> they just went in here. Here's a copy of one of my journal cards that I made. These were fun to do. Um, here is a tag I made a while ago. It has a really pretty fabric ribbon on there. Um, they have a lot of journal cards. Every single one of them has something in the pocket, something in the tuck. There might be a spot here or there that has nothing on there, but it's very, very rare. Here's a really cute vintage um, recipe so you can learn how to make Rice Krispie Treats. And uh, yeah, so I spent a lot of time making embellishments and then I just stick something on every page. <laughs> That's pretty much my method. And then each one of the journal cards has this uh, custom tag that I made um, that says Tsunami Rose, had my junk journals, has my signature on it, and then it has the number of journal that it is that you got. So this one is 92. And let me tie the, let me tie this here before I forget which which ribbon goes to what journal. Give me one second. This might not be the best ribbon I've ever made, but got to put it away. Okay. So there's number 82. 
Now number 83, they're all decorated differently. Not one is the same. So each one is completely different. The covers are, <laughs> the covers are amateur. Okay, I'm not like the, I didn't perfect it yet. <laughs> like obviously it's all put together, but you'll see some of the seams here, are like not the straightest, but you know what? It functions, <laughs> it functions. And um, other than that, I think I, I did a really good job on it. This was really cute. I'm really enjoying um, some of these uh, recipe cutouts. They're just really a lot of fun to just stick on a page. Um, so all of these embellishments that you see here, this one's actually like two years old. Um, I just, I make them and then eventually I'll go through them all. I make a lot of them and then eventually I'll go through them all. But um, it was just a lot of fun. I don't know why these, I was just really in the mood to decorate. Like literally I was really in the mood to decorate. Here's an envelope and there's a journal card in there. And I got all these, all 10 of these done really quickly. Actually there's three, six, nine, 10, 11. There's 11 journals there. And um, a lot of fun. There's one of my jars, one of my journal cards and whatever this is, I just like sewed some stuff and glued some stuff on a receipt paper. <laughs> it's just a thing there. There's a little um, vintage ephemera on some scrapbook paper. And um, again, there's no themes to this. There's just a lot of flowers, a lot of vintage items, a lot of space to journal in also. So there's a really nice amount of space to journal. If that's what you want to do, here's one of, my, one of my button cards. Those are cute. Thank y'all so much. Hi, who did I not say hi to? I said, oh, hi, Om. Hi, Chris. I think I said hi, Chris. Beverly, what's going on, Beverly? Welcome. And, uh, okay, so we got a lot to get through here. Oh, this pocket here. Some of the journals have this pocket, and there's literally, this thing is, like, stuffed with stuff. <laughs> so you can, you can have fun looking through all that, because I have, like, ten more journals to get through. But anyways, this one is, uh, again, number 83, if you're interested. I did leave the link to my shop. Here is the link again, in case anybody's interested. And uh, oh, this is one of the original um, journal cards that I made. Did scan these. These are available as a printable. So for here, you get the original, and you get this awesome tag. Each one of the journals has one of these tags. Journal cards here for you to write on. <clears throat> I like to print a lot on the back of scrapbook paper. <laughs> it's fun. Here's a tuck spot for you to add. Oh, I already have stuff in there. I'm like, gonna add stuff here. It's already full, so there you go. <laughs> That'll work there for you. Again, a lot of writing space, really cute size. This is what, one, two, three, four, five, five inch. And I believe it's like by four, one, two, three, four, by like four-ish. Um, I can't wait to get more of this. Uh, I think it's Pella number 72. Can't wait to get more of the, the more of the, the materials so I can make more of these journals. I will have to watch the video on how to make it again because I could not tell you how I did this now. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch a video because I definitely want to make more of these for Christmas. I want to make some Christmas themed ones. I thought that would be, I thought they would look really cute, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Wish me luck. Come on. I think I'm going to go tomorrow if I feel like, I don't know. I've been PMSing, so I haven't really even wanted to go live. So I apologize about not going live the last, um, like Friday I didn't go live. I just didn't feel like it, y'all. Just, <laughs> I didn't feel like doing anything. Today, I kind of don't, so I wanted to do this flip through, but uh, hopefully we'll get to do some stuff real soon, hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I've been feeling funky, but it's nothing more than than my time of month, that's all. <laughs> Sorry to bring that up, but y'all know I'm normally here. I'm normally, you know, on time, well, ish, on time. Um, anyway, so that's number 83 right here. I guess just, I was just really in the mood. Okay, here's number 84. And uh, this is, again, they're all, they all have these uh, flower cards on the uh, cover. 
um, but they're all different cards here. It's just a really cute, I guess it's like a playing card, but they have flowers on them, so I thought they were so cute. It was fun seeing an old video of yours. YouTube suggested you were just learning about heat and body. Oh my God, yes, you can. <laughs> You can go through my videos and really see the struggle. <laughs> you could really see the growth. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Here's one of these pockets I made. I'm trying to make small stuff because I know sometimes I make small journals. I really don't make a lot of small embellishments and stuff like that, small pockets. I need to start doing that. Um, of course, the signatures on all these, they're all sewn in. You can see it on the cover right there. All the signatures are sewn in. So there's no like nothing hard or nothing there on the spine. Here's one of my um, button cards. I remember the first uh, video that I ever did using um, <laughs> when I started using my rotary cutter, like I'd never used it before. And in this video, I that's when I first had it. And um, somebody, <laughs> left a very concerned comment um, telling me that I should make sure and retract the blade every time I put it down. And that has like, and <laughs> she was kind of stern about it. Like, you know, you're an educator, blah, 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 you should know. I'm like, you know, I'm learning along with y'all. Sometimes I don't know things. I, thanks for letting me know. I appreciate you <laughs> filling me in on that tip, but honey, I'm not a teacher. I am not no craft professional. I'm not a scientist. So like my bad. Okay. But like from now on, I will. <laughs> uh, okay. So this one here, I made into a little side tuck with this little flower card here. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind people telling me that I'm doing stuff wrong by all means, please tell me, but please don't assume that I'm some sort of professional. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a, I'm new at things too sometimes. <laughs> Here's an antique, um, uh, what do they call it? A uh, business card. It's a really cute antique business card. I've been putting um, actual vintage ephemera here and there and each journal has a couple of actual vintage ephemera, which I'm really excited about. And um, I'm really excited I can add those to my journals. I uh, like real vintage ephemera. Here's some stamps. Like I said, every page has something on it. Something decorating it. Here's a really pretty um, uh, uh, butterfly applique. This is from Snow uh, Kelly Snow's store. I'll leave her link down below because I did use some of her stuff. Here is a copy of my journal card that I made with the ephemera and the floral elements. They looked really pretty. Library card right here. Yes, thank you, Jane, so much. If y'all could give me a little thumbs up, that really helped me out. If you could, if you want to, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so each one, I think I said they had about 13 pages. Each one here is a, an envelope that I made. These are fun to make. I really like making little Franken paper stuff. It's the fun, it's the funnest. Right here with this little cactus paper clip that Irina sent me. <laughs> I'm trying to use everything up this year. I'm really trying to work on making junk journals this year. So wish me luck. I have, I don't know, probably like eight more I have to decorate. <laughs> and I and I really feel like making more. I really don't feel like decorating right now. Oh, it's missing a tag. Hang on. I don't feel like decorating right now. I just feel like making journals. So I'm probably going to make some Christmas journals soon. It's not Christmas week, but I want to make some journals and I guess I'll make them Christmas. That should have been right there. Hello. Hello. So after this video, I'm going to go through the, um, I'm going to go through the listings and uh, I can tell you which video starts where. Um, because I know this is going to, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's already 15 minutes long and we've only gone through three. <laughs> Sometimes my flip through videos are an hour in of themselves. So if you are interested in a particular journal, you can look through my listings and I will um, leave the link to where on the video I start talking about that particular junk journal. Um, but yeah. 
Let's see, this year I'm really, really motivated to finish up some junk journals. Okay, so now we're going on to a different style. So that's this really pretty um, sheer fabric with these really beautiful, tiny little flowers. They were just adorable. And this is number 85 through 87. And um, uh, all of these have the same fabric on the outside and on the inside they have this really cute polka dot and this like really um, just neutral oatmeal colored fabric here and I just think they look really cute together. I, I really had a lot of fun mixing the fabrics for these covers. They were just they were just a lot of fun. Aren't they adorable? Those little flowers are just the sweetest little things. I just really loved it. And it's such a sheer fabric. I have trouble finding uses for it. But here it just, it just, um, it gives it a nice little shine on the fabric. I'm really happy about that. Where is the card, Daisy? Hello, you just said, you just, <laughs> you just said they all have cards. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Um, it's really cute embellishment here. It says mince pies. I love it. Here's that tag that I think I have on, I think I have one of those in every single, um, every single one of these journals. This one has some really pretty, um, ruffles here on some of the pages. Pleats, ruffles that I made out of paper. Like one day I'll just spend here and I'll just do this all, like the whole day. And then, you know, they, they all get used up in a bunch of journals, but I just sit here and I do one thing a day. I really do. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I don't know why. I like doing repetitive things. <laughs> I like doing the same thing over and over. Here is a postcard about your low premium from George Washington Life Insurance. <laughs> That's vintage. A lot of fun to use actual vintage ephemera, but eh, you really don't need it. Here's a little recipe on fruit and yogurt pie. <laughs> And uh, one of the tags here with my um, fabric ribbon that I like to make. All the tags are, of course, they're all different. All, all are different. Lots of writing space in these journals. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, like I said, all day I'll spend and I'll make these. And so then I just have a bunch of embellishments. It takes me a while to get there to make a completed journal. <laughs> as you can tell by, by my video history. <laughs> but um, eventually I get there. You know what? It's not a race. It's not a race. I like to have fun, and as long as it's fun, I'll keep doing it. If it's not fun, then I'll stop. So it has to be fun. So I'm not trying to race nobody. I'm not trying to make more journals than the next person. I'm going to my own pace. And sometimes it, it seems like a quick pace how I got these 11 journals done real quick. But um, it's, uh, like I said, this these journals are from two years ago. So <laughs> don't think I was uh, some sort of master junk journaler here. <laughs> here is another one of my button cards. These are fun, these jars. I still have lots of them. So I'm still um, prepared to decorate more journals. I just have to get in the mood. Right now, I want to make some junk journal covers. So I think tonight, after I go live, I think I'm going to finish up. I'm making three Christmas drunk journals. I just didn't want to go live. Don't ask me why. I was just not in the mood. <laughs> so we'll make sure the next ones that I do, I'll do them live. Uh, here's a little Monopoly card and one of these um, fun journaling cards that I like to make. These are a lot of fun. I like to sew. So I really, really enjoy um, like making my sewing skills better. Of course, I sew on paper. I don't so like actual fabric projects, but I really like to get better at selling it on paper. It's really, really fun. Well, my first and only journal took me eight months. Jane, I am with you. <laughs> I am with you on that. <laughs> That's about the pace I go to as well. <laughs> and these are some bingo cards that I actually altered and I scanned them. These are really cute. They're a lot of fun. And I'm glad I get copies of them. Everything uh, you see here, you can find in my shop. I mixed and matched a lot of things from my shop. So whatever you think is cute, honestly, everything that I design kind of goes together. Like this is one of my graph paper ephemera sets. And this is one of my um, price tag ephemera sets. And they just look really cute together. I never really use like a kit entirely. I break it all apart. <laughs> 
Uh, here's a really cute tuck spot that I made from this recipe right here for sugar pecan rounds, which actually sounds delicious right now. <laughs> here's a tag that I stamped on. I also coffee dyed that. No, that was uh, coffee and uh, alcohol ink. That was a good mix. That was a really good mix. Cool. I have some from when I was addicted to bingo. <laughs> Perfect. I love bingo cards. Here's a, a playing card from one of the casinos out here. They like to sell their players card after a while. Here is um, a vintage ticket and here is a vintage um, postcard of some sort of receipt. I don't know what this is. It's something. <laughs> I haven't read it. It's something. Just thought it would look cute here. So I just put it there. Um, there's a tag here. And um, here's the tag that says number 85. And uh, that is number 85. Tie this together. I just don't want to lose the fabric ribbons because knowing me, I would say I'll just do that later and then I'll get mixed up with what fabric ribbon was on what journal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so number 86, we are going. Same style, different ribbon fabric here. I want to sell on paper, but I'm scared. Vanessa, um, I was scared too, but everybody else does it. <laughs> so I figured I'd be okay. <laughs> and um, I have had fun. It just takes practice, really. Just practice and finding the right settings. That's about it. I think I made this into a pocket here so you can put something in there. Little pleat ribbon here. I have so much fun sewing on paper. Even when it goes wrong, even when it goes bad, even when it's not straight, girl, it looks good in a junk journal. I'll tell you that right now. I look back at like the things that I did design in the past when I was new at sewing, and you know what? Like I wish I could recreate it. <laughs> it looks so rustic. You know what I mean? Like when I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> back in the days. Um, but now it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. Not that I do anything straight or perfect in junk journaling. Luckily, nothing needs to be straight or perfect. So it's okay. It's okay not to be perfect. So don't be scared. Um, if you're scared about your sewing machine, maybe buy a cheap one to, to do your sewing machine. If you have one for fabric, um, if you're scared of messing it up, a lot of people, if they have a really, really nice a uh, really nice sewing machine, they will purchase a cheaper one to use on their paper. I use mine for both paper and fabric and I have no issue with it. But then again, I don't actually make like real fabric projects <laughs> other than junk journaling stuff. So can't speak from experience, but I have heard of people doing that a lot. Here is a signature, uh, not a signature, I meant to say postcard, really cute postcard. Here, a lot of flowers in these journals. That's really no, there's really no other theme, I suppose, other than just floral. I always say my junk journals are floral junk journals because everything has flowers in it. That's just how I've been my whole life. <laughs> if you go back and you look at my child pictures, I'm always wearing something floral. Always, like literally 100% of the time. <laughs> I'm wearing something floral. I love flowers. So that's really the only theme I ever really follow. Here's a flip, uh, tuck spot right there. Here's one of my um one of my tags and all the pages are all just kind of a hodgepodge of old scrapbook papers that I've had forever. Um, book paper, some coffee dyed paper, some not coffee dyed. It's just a big old mix. Here's a little tuck spot right here for you. Here's a little tuck spot with the uh, graph here that you can write on. Then lots of space to write on, lots of journal cards to write on. Lots of flowers everywhere. I have one just like you, Daisy. I love it. <laughs> yes, I love my sewing machine. Hey, Zena, give me y'all. Give me one minute, y'all. I thought it felt to sneeze, but of course it comes whenever you're not ready for it. <laughs> Um, a lot of die cuts here too. Um, 
some really pretty, some of my um, floral ephemera for my shop that you can print out. It's one of my um, journal cards. Here's a, you know what? I haven't done this in a while when I used to sew paper onto the pages. It actually looks really cute. I should do that on some pages. Here is a little um, vintage business card for the Orleans watch. I'll actually use this right here digitally in one of my um, journal cards. It's kind of funny. Let me show y'all what I like to do. So I scanned that business card. Where is it? It's right here, actually. I just put this set of journal cards out today. Um, but let me show you what I do. So I scanned this business card here. And then I... I use it in my digitals right there. You see that? I just grabbed it from the scan and I placed it right there. So that's what I like to do with the, the vintage ephemera I've been um, purchasing. And then after that, I'll, you know, I can, <laughs> I can feel fine about sending that off to a new, <laughs> a new home. Let me. Uh, how many pages do you have? I think each uh, signature is about thirteen. Hi, Lorna. Uh, I think that was your name, right, Lorna? I'm not mistaken. Am I mistaken? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I believe it is about 13 pages in each journal. It's a single signature. And uh, there's the number 86 there. So let me tie this back together. These were a lot of fun to make. I'm definitely going to make these again. Definitely, definitely going to make these again. They are adorable. And they're nice and soft. So these are really... The only soft cover books I think I've ever made. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so last one in this style, which is number 87. Laura. Sorry, Laura. One letter off. Whew. Okay. And uh, this one has a ranunculus. I hate that word. Run that sound is rude. Like, if I called you a ranunculus, you'd be like, what'd you call me? Like, what? <laughs> Okay, so again, something on every page, even the book pages have something on them. I really have this thing about decorating every page. It's really detrimental to my health, but I love it. <laughs> Daisy, I have been collecting sheets and fabric since you started. I need a bigger house. Girl, you need to sell some then. If you can't, you know what? I don't like having too much stuff. I have a lot of things, but I don't... You know, if I have more things in space, then I have to get rid of things. I don't like having so much stuff. It, like, gives me anxiety. <laughs> so that's why I sell stuff or I'm like, I got to make 13 drunk journals today. <laughs> I get into that mode because it's too much stuff makes me nervous. So that's why my mom's, my mom's house makes me nervous. <laughs> my mom has way too much stuff. And I've really come to learn. I've come to learn that I, I can't buy everything. I really cannot. <laughs> I like to buy things when I've gone through, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I used up all of my um, heat and bond. Awesome. I'm going to buy more. You know what I mean? Like that. Or um, these cards. And I do have to stop myself. Oh, it's so hard to stop yourself from buying things for dark journals because it's so not expensive right like <laughs> it's not expensive but it or maybe you can find a friend close by to share stuff with that'd be fun here is a print i printed this out on copy dyed paper here this um postcard it looks like vintage <laughs> it looks like legit and these are the ones that i was able to scan myself so they're in such high quality i love it I love it. And some flowers for my botanical books. I love to stuff everywhere. Here's one of my own um, journal cards that I made a, a long time ago, and I scanned them, and, and I can print them out, and they're great. Of course, that's in my shop as well. And um, lots of embellishments everywhere. Lots of journal cards. I made sure we, I made sure to stuff about ninety percent of the pockets and ninety percent of the tucks in here. Uh, here's another one of my button cards. I love it, y'all. I love it. Hi, Judy. How are you? How are you? Yes. See? It's just 
just exciting. I see that I have a lot of stuff and I just be like, I need to make 30 junk journals tonight. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, oh, actually, you know, I think this is a copy of this one over here. What am I doing? Yeah, this is an actual. Okay, so this is the copy. <laughs> this is the actual real one. And then this is the copy. The quality is so good. I don't know why I gave you two in here. I might switch it out. Hang on, let me switch this out because it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> Last minute decision. Hang on one second. <laughs> Let me put this image of a bird instead in here. I don't want you to have two of the same things. So you have the original already. I'll keep a copy. <laughs> now, where did this go? Another one in here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, nope. 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 It went over here. <laughs> right there. So that is fun. Original ephemera right there. Some pretty tags, a lot of writing space, a lot of little things to look at and pull out. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun with these journals. Sad to see them go, but they need to go. Otherwise, I have no space for the rest of the stuff I'm going to make. <laughs> Here's a little jar. So if you are in, if you are in the market for tiny one signature journals, please check out my store. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, here we go, here we go, there's a tag right here. I'm going to design some of these like quotes because these are actually really cute and they take up a nice space here. Again, the tag number 87. Again, <laughs> junk journaling is not a race. <laughs> Don't think that you need to make even one junk journal a month. You just do what you have time to do and have fun with it and, um, the journals will get made when they get made. But of course, purchasing, uh, what size are these? I believe they are about uh, one, two, three, four, by one, two, three, four, five. Four by five. Ish, right, ish. That's my thumb size. <laughs> but like I said, definitely purchasing um, materials and supplies is a whole other, a whole other hobby than actually junk journaling. <laughs> Just like any other hobby that I've heard that about quilting, I've heard that about everything. <laughs> you can buy all the supplies and tools you, you, you want. If that's what you have fun with, then that's a whole different hobby. <laughs> yes, these are cute. These would go nicely in a purse or a bag because they can't be messed up, right? And uh, this one you get a Xanthium. That's interesting. That would be there, there was this game we used to play when I was younger, which I learned from all my uncles and aunts in Mexico. You'd have to know a plant, place, thing, country that was all started with the, with the same letter. I don't, I've never heard of Scanthium. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Okay, so here's this uh, number 88, which this fabric is so precious. It has these really adorable little cottages and but like roses it's just a beautiful fabric and i only got like little scraps and bits of it so it's kind of perfect for this product but um actually this is like the best sewing i think i was just not good at the corners i think if i do it again i can make these much better but i mean already i mean that's pretty good for about two years ago <laughs> my sewing is getting pretty good of course that's on paper and of course that's for junk journals <laughs> Don't ask me to make you a dress. I don't know how that would go. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. What's up, girl? Here is a vintage um, postcard of some sort. Is it a postcard? Is it a receipt? It's actually a receipt. It says that they received the remittance for $23.91. So I think that is like a receipt they mail you. I don't know. That's weird. It is a postcard. It's a postcard on the back. I think it's like a receipt. A receipt postcard, though. Again, this is all just a hodgepodge, if you can see, of old scrapbook papers. Old scrapbook papers look the best once they're coffee dyed. I'll tell you that right now. They look even better. Here's a journal card I made. I love making these journal cards. I can make this all day. So much fun to sew up all these little things. I enjoy it so much. You guys don't even know. Y'all don't even know how much I love sewing on paper. I think the only other person who sews more on their projects 
<laughs> the only other person I know that um, sews more on their junk journals is probably Kelly Snow and her and her mom. <laughs> they sew uh, about fifty percent more than I do. We play that game when we were young. Oh, I I used to love that game. I feel like that was good practice for me, like wanting to learn stuff and learn new things because then I could use it in that game and beat my friends, my cousins. <laughs> Perfect game for in the car. We always play that game in the car. All you need is a piece of paper. So it was just a lot of fun, that game. I don't even know if it, does it have a name? I, I don't know. Okay, here's this, some quotes, some pretty floral papers. Here's my um my copies of oh here's a copy of that um Orleans uh business card that I put on copy dyed paper and it's printed on the back. Here's a little glassy envelope that I didn't even actually open. I just kind of used this as a little flap. I don't know. Should have opened it. <laughs> okay, here's a little ticket embellishment. I made these a while ago too. I made so many, but I just have more of them left. Here's another one of the appliques from Kelly Snow. And uh, here's another envelope. Here we go. It's got a journal card inside. This was a lot of fun. This Franken paper. See my corners. I practice. I've gotten a little bit better. I can't say I'm the best yet, but I have gotten better at it. And just doing projects like this over and over and over and over again, that's honestly how I've improved my sewing skills. Again, not that I'm like any sort of like actual seamstress or anything. But I can see my straight stitches looking real straight. You know what I mean? Hi, Violet. How are you? No idea what it's called, but it was fun. Yes, it was. It was It was the best. It really was. When, like, you knew a country, like, that they didn't know, you'd be, like, in your face. <laughs> oh, man. I used to have a lot of fun with that. Um, here's a little embellishment here. Again, every page has something on it, something to look at. A little ephemera piece right here. A lot of journal cards everywhere. A lot of journaling spots. Tucks and everything. Here's some more of those um, fabric cleats, fabric uh, ruffles, whatever you want to call them. Yes, I am well. Thank you so much for asking. Violet wants to know how everybody is. Okay, this is fun. I've had this. I had this for years, like years, maybe like five or more years. This thing here, it says create. And I finally decided, hey, you know what? This would actually make a pretty cool tuck spot. So <laughs> after so many years, <laughs> I finally uh, figured it out. Hi, Judy. Did I say hi to Judy yet? I apologize if I haven't said hi to y'all. I'm so sorry. I've been looking down <laughs> this whole day and time. Um, okay, here's another one of those jars that I use as a tuck spot. I love these jars. I gotta make more. Actually, I actually have some, but I gotta make more. They're just fun. Some things are just fun to make. Here's a tag I made with a little uh, collage there. Again, no theme. Pretty much just floral everywhere, just vintage, but not everything is vintage. Here's a really cute recipe for an orange nut coffee loaf. Sounds pretty good right now. Here's this cute little tag. And uh, I, Crafty Irina, she sent me some of our quilting fabric scraps. And they're such bright colors. I didn't know what else to do with them except like put them in things like this because I just don't work with like bright colors like that, like element, like um, primary colors. I don't know why. I don't know why. None of my junk journals are ever like primary colors or bright colors like that. I still have the bag of scraps that she sent me and um, I've been thinking maybe I can make like a child's junk journal and it could be those primary colors, but I just, just don't really use a lot of primary colors in my products. I just noticed that right now. I literally just noticed that. <laughs> so what is it about this, these fabrics that I just can't get into? They're all primary colors. I'm just I'm not into it. But it could fit. It has places it could fit. I like the tags with the fabric for the ties like those. Oh, they're fun. I love making um, fabric ribbon. It's just the easiest thing. These are some pokeweed. I've never even heard of that. Oh, there's a little girl there. How cute. 
Uh, again, I think these are some sort of playing cards or like learn your letters. I don't know. Did I buy them? I think Crafty Irena sent them to me. I think somebody sent them to me. I feel like somebody sent them to me. <laughs> this is a really fun um, alcohol dyed glassine bag that our pocket that I dyed many, many, many years ago. And I finally just like stuck it on somewhere. I have to get rid of all this ephemera I've been having for years. It's time to use it up. You know what? This is the year. This is the year. <laughs> I'm writing with one eye at the door looking for my pot. Girl, I'm telling you, you can't sue me. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Oh, my God. You're funny. You're too funny, Violet. She's always, like, risking her like livelihood to watch my lives somehow. <laughs> I gotta fix this right here. Hang on. Hang on. I got why is this not cut right? What the heck? Violet's always risking it all. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it, Violet. I love it. <laughs> okay. So let's put this Jar. These are from my shop here. These big jars actually are my big jars. They're really cute. Everything. This is, oh my God, I love this little collage that is so cute. The little stamp. I love it. There's some journal cards here. Got some more journal cards here. And just for my um, graph uh, printable. I love it. Love it. And there's no color theme in here. It's just whatever I had in hand <laughs> uh, is what went into this journal. <laughs> Even when I made them, it was just like whatever papers I had left, they're going in there. <laughs> it was very, very much that. Very much that. Get it in the journal. That's what I said. But um, it, they turn out fun. They're in junk journaling. You really don't have to worry about anything kind of matching. I don't. Just stick whatever I like on the page. Sometimes once in a while, I'll be like, oh, there's pink here. I'll put pink here. Other than that, I really don't try and worry about it too much. It all ends up looking like it belongs together anyways. I use your big jars on wrapping all my lace. Oh, how cute. That's a good idea, Dave. I'm a bad girl so long as my boss is in here. You're funny. You are hilarious. You are hilarious. Here's a little um, pocket. I gotta do more of these little collages. These are fun. There's a recipe here for artichoke salad using a rice aroni. <laughs> using a box of chicken rice aroni. Again, something on every page. Even if it's just like a little, little something, something like that. Here's a receipt for, I believe this is a power, power bill, standard light and heat power company. And then these banners, gotta make more of those. These are cute. Let's see, stuck some stamps here. Thank you, Violet. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I believe this sent me into a pocket. No, I didn't. I did not. <laughs> Here's a journal card right here. Really cute child. Just like I said, there's embellishments everywhere. A little tuck spot here. Another tuck spot. I really like tuck spots. <laughs> They're fun. Here's a beautiful journal card, and I printed it on the back of a scrap of paper. And here is uh, one of those. Uh, this is a copy of my... Um, Business cards here, adorable. Some random, <laughs> some random things like this Monopoly dollar and then this journal card here that I think I got those from like, they were on clearance somewhere at like Michael's or something. I bought a bunch of them here. This is from a scrapbook page, but I wanna design something like that because that's actually pretty cute. Uh, let's see, here's another journal card in here, one of my copies. And, uh, oh, blue chalk sticks, a succulent. I love putting succulents because I just, I, I love succulents. There's number 89. And, uh, oh, I didn't even talk about the inside. The inside has this really pretty yellow 
um, roses in the background and then this like beige with pink flowers here. Just thought it made a good combo. I'm telling you, it really felt like uh, Mondo from <laughs> Project Runway. <laughs> Mixing the florals, they're so much fun. Dogs always go out when I'm busy. <laughs> Jay, that's why I can't handle a dog. It's just too much energy for me. I really can't. <laughs> My son loves succulents too. Me too. I love them all to death. <laughs> I loved each one of my succulents to death. And I've really not purchased any since <laughs> since I killed them all. It's so hard out here in Las Vegas to keep plants happy. I'll tell you that right now. They're fine during winter and, and fall, but then summer they all die. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. Don't ask me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this one has an oxide daisy. I've never even heard of an oxide daisy. Okay. Okay. And uh, again, this is number 90. We are moving on. We are moving forward. I have another two journals after this one, y'all. My flip throughs are always an hour long. I don't know who else has one hour long flip throughs. I always do like 10 junk journal flip throughs. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I really should do like one by one, but such is life. Such is life. Here's a, a, a recipe for granola cookies. I'll take some right now. And uh, let's see here. Just so many things on our page. There's so much to see. This cool bird. Oh, it's an owl. It's an owl and a bingo card for my shop. Oh my god, this is fun, y'all. If y'all are looking for a nice little junk journal to take home, <laughs> please check out my shop. I have a couple of journals. <laughs> okay, good night, Violet. Have a good night, girl. Um, let's see, embellishment there. One of my jars, I love it. Lots of writing space though. This is so cute. I'm gonna, I really miss this journal. It was um, this book, it was called Breakfast for Lovers. <laughs> the book was called Breakfast for Lovers, but they use all such beautiful, like vintage imagery. And it's just, I mean, this is a work of art. It's a work of art. It really was. Um, the cover was a little, <laughs> the title of the book is a little weird, but it, it's a really cool book. Breakfast for Lovers, if y'all ever find it somewhere. it's It's got such awesome images, and I don't think I have any more of it left. I'm pretty sure I used it all up. Here's the other side of that. Like, that is just beautiful. Those are carrots, <laughs> by the way. Okay, here's it tag here my little cactus clips i need to make more of these little journal spots um i need to make more of them i think i've already used them all up almost so other than floral and some vintage things there's really no themes to this just whatever stuff i had made and created I'll put in this. Oh, my fun journal cards. These are just fun to make. Even if I don't sell them, I use them all up. I don't know why they're just so much fun to make. <laughs> I really don't even mind. Here is a new for touring card. It's, uh, I guess it's a, I don't know what this is. It's just a card. <clears throat> oh, it's a ticket. It's like a ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I really like the way I designed this paper. It's so pretty. Here's one of these pockets. This is from that, um, what is it called? It's called Tim Holtz slot pocket or slotted pocket, slotted stitch pocket, something like that. It's awesome. I love that. A recipe here for potato stuffing bake. It all sounds so good right now. Uh -huh, we are going. We are getting there. Again, that is number 90. Since it's fabric, I can't really put my normal tag on there, so I made myself these little these little tags to put in there. 
What I miss? What I miss? What I miss? Oh, Letitia. Hi, Letitia. What's up, girlfriend? Okay, I got another two journals here to go through. Here is number 91. I can't believe I've made almost 100 junk journals, y'all. Like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. 100 junk journals, I'm at 92. And there actually, there's some numbers that I don't think I ever finished. I still have to finish them. I normally, now I number them after they're made. I, I used to number them as I was making them, but now I'm going to do them as I make them. Here's one that says Cosmos, so it looks cute. And this journal has the polka dot uh, fabric in the front. Then inside it has this really, I love this fabric. I love these two fabrics here. I think Crafty Arena sent me both of them. This really, and of, these are bed sheets right here. So this, I think this was actual fabric, but these two were bed sheets and they were just the prettiest, most gorgeous bed sheets. Look at this. Look at this. It's just freaking beautiful, this fabric. And, um, I don't know, I really like mixing and matching these fabrics. Like I really felt like a real like fashion designer. <laughs> you can't even get one done, Judy, don't worry. These journals I made two years ago, so don't, don't feel stressed out. This is literally two years in the making. <laughs> I take a while myself. <laughs> Need to celebrate when you get to number 100, right? I really should. I really should do something, but I just, I'm going to get there so fast. <laughs> I already have three junk journals over there that need to be decorated. And then I have four over there that I need to list for sale. Then I have what three behind me that I just made. And I have like six other patch. I'm already at a hundred and something. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I finish them, <laughs> maybe in another two years. <laughs> It's okay. It's not a race. Sometimes I'm just really in the mood to actually like just make a junk journal. <laughs> not finish it, but just like make one. <laughs> it happens. Uh, here's a vintage ticket for your free photo. Love it. Love it. Love it. Again, I need to sew scraps to pages. It just looks really cute. I really like it. I need to do that more. Just kind of reminds me of things I need to do also. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of projects in the back burner, <laughs> especially doing my lives here. I go, I make a lot of stuff that I don't finish for a, quite a while. <laughs> That's why, like the other day, unfortunately, I had to, it broke my heart to say it, but like somebody um, posted on my Easter junk journal that I made, what, like a couple of years ago now, two years ago now. And they're like, oh, I'm looking for part four. <laughs> I, I had to say, oh, I, I never finished. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that's one of the ones I never finished. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, it's cool, but at the same time, it's a little embarrassing when you make videos and they're not all in sequence. <laughs> Part one was this year, wait for next year for part two. <laughs> that's how it is, you know, that's how it is. It happens, I'm sorry, that's how my channel is. I, My brain, do, if I don't wanna do it, like I don't care that I have to, I just won't, I'm, just, I'm terrible. I'm terrible, that's why I never made a good student. <laughs> Unless it was art, I really was not interested which is uh, not very good if you're a parent. <laughs> not good if you're my parent. <laughs> but um, I just, whatever I feel like doing that day, that's what I'm going to do. If I don't feel like doing it, I'm just not going to do it because it's not going to come out right. If you ask me, uh, when I make art, it has to be, I have to be in the right mood to do it. <clears throat> oh, this is a beautiful image. This is one of my favorite images that I have in my collection. Um, this really pretty hand. I don't even know. Where's the water coming from, Mary? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's like a lemon sprayer. Are you spraying lemons? I don't know. What is that? What is that? I don't know. But I just saw that image. As, as I craft, it's supposed to be fun. Right? Yeah. If it's not fun that day, sorry about it. I'm working on something else. <laughs> 
Like, sorry. <laughs> Come back for next year for, for the second part. <laughs> it happens. It happens. My goodness. You know, honestly, if I didn't design this stuff, I would be gushing about how pretty it is. But because I designed it, it like, makes me be like, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's cool. <laughs> I don't want to be like, oh, my God, I'm so awesome. Look at all the stuff I make. But it's pretty. It's really pretty. <laughs> I'm not good at um, talking positive about myself. <laughs> Here's this graph right here. I love it. <laughs> I'm just over knocking things down in my craft area. It's <laughs> Letitia, you're funny. I like this little dude. Look how cute he is. He looks like so 1953. Like he's adorable. He is heck lackey democratic state democratic set oh my god i can't talk democratic candidate for state center my god that's a lot of words that's some sat words right there <laughs> gush away for sure thank you jane see this this i made and it's wonderful and it's the best thing ever <laughs> i can't <laughs> it's really not in my nature <laughs> It's really not. Okay, so that was number 91, and it was awesome. Let's tie this thing back here. Uh, Sophia says, I started quite a few journals a few years back and fight taking pictures and filming and uploading time consuming, so I keep putting it off but want to share with all y'all. Hey, you can make some – a lot of people don't like – long <laughs> long uh, flip throughs like mine a lot of people don't even like to hear you talk honestly some people like videos where you just kind of sit there and flip through the paper and hear the paper sounds people dig it so safina don't let it get you down if you gotta do it a different way you know like my kind of new audience okay okay don't let it get you down what is this i've never heard of this flower a zinnia? That's interesting. I that would be good for that one game we were talking about, Sophia. <laughs> I wonder if he won. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> he looks uptight, girl. Everybody from 1954 looks uptight. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody's afraid to freaking fart. <laughs> okay, here is a super banana shake. <laughs> Little um. Why would you put lemon juice? Are you really telling me to put lemon juice in my banana shake? Okay, no. That's going to be a no for me, y'all. No, that sounds so gross. <laughs> lemon in your banana shake? What? No. I don't believe it. <laughs> what? I think that was normal picture back then. My first flip through was without commentary. Yeah. Some people are into that. Here's another vintage card here for Wilson Studio. This is so cool. I love this stuff. That is not coffee dyed. That's just like, it's just old, I think. Maybe somebody dropped coffee on it, but it's just old. Here's one of my um, journal cards that I made with my floral and my vintage ephemera. On my chatterbox, I, I explain where I got things from and how many different elements. That's fine. That's a turn to two. I'm just saying, don't let it stop you from creating. You could also just share photos and stuff. A uh, photo video. I get what you mean. I get what you mean, though. I get it. Um, I need to make more of these. I really do. And there's something on every page. There is a, uh, a button card here with some beautiful ladies. I'll put stuff on top of stuff. <laughs> it doesn't really go together, but it's fine. Junk journals are just fun to me like that. I don't have to make them match. I don't have to make them the same color. If I did, I probably wouldn't. There's, that sounds a little stressful. <laughs> I like to just put whatever I got in junk journals. That's the junk part of it for me, too. Of course, I people that tell you, like, oh, that's too pretty to be a junk journal. Like, this is literal bed sheets right here. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> It's bed sheets. Tell me it's not junk. <laughs> Just because I make everything look pretty. See? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what some people expect with their junk journals. They literally want me to make it like out of a junkyard. Like, 
I don't know. Some people. Some people. Okay, here's a little, little ephemera card here. Floral ephemera everywhere. This is a, I was going to say this is an actual vintage receipt, but it's not. It just looks so good. I did such a good job scanning it. My gosh. You have a limit to amount of pages. Yeah, my sewing machine really doesn't like anything above like 15. So 13, I'm, I'm really good. I don't even know how I managed to have such self-control. <laughs> Normally, I want to stuff my journal. But each signature, I can only sew with my sewing machine about 15 pages. I've done more and I uh, didn't like it. <laughs> So now I try and stick to 15. It's so hard to only put 15 pages in a signature. It's really tough. But with the amount of decorating that I do and the size of the spine, I've tried. I figured out 15 pages is the most. The most I should put in a journal. Do I push it? Yes, I do. <laughs> do sometimes I put more? Yes, I do. Heck, yes, I do. But um, 15 is about what I try and stick to. This is 13. Um, but obviously it doesn't have an actual like spine, so um, it's it's a little crocodile crocodile-y, but that's okay. I like it anyways. Um, yeah, so that is it for me tonight, y'all. Thank you guys. That's number 92. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this live flip through. I know it's a little ridiculously long, but I had 11 junk journals to go through, so what are you going to do? But anyways, thank you guys so much for your support. Um, if y'all are in the market for a junk journal, please check out my shop. I really do appreciate y'all's support. I put out some, I've been putting out um, new junk journal printables, printables pretty much every single day. So make sure you check those out as well as um, just look how, look how ridiculous this looks, you guys. It's just... <laughs> It's just a little ridiculous, but you know what? These were so much fun to make two years ago, and they were so much fun to decorate this year. <laughs> so, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will be back tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm feeling weird. I'm sorry, ladies. Y'all know how it is. But anyways, uh, hopefully I'll be back in the mood tomorrow, <laughs> and we can hang out. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank y'all for the conversation. Thank y'all for the support. Check out my shop at tsunamirose.net and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a little thumbs up, y'all. Thank you so much for your help. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, you guys. Have a good night. Bye.